All right. Um, the unclear history may upset many, but nevertheless, February 14 is known as Day for Love. Valentine's Day also has roots in the Middle Ages when it was believed that the day marked the beginning of birds' mating season. A bunch of roses, handwritten notes, letters in the name of significant order or chocolate. These things often come to mind whenever we hear of Valentine's Day. So it's safe to say that this is an important day for everyone who wishes to express love on this day and to also share that love with um, a very dear loved one. So. <laughs> Some of us are loveless. <laughs> well, no love. <laughs> but see, I don't know why you guys well, take I'm love. Time. It's a big yes, deal. Please. We got a lot. I got. I personally, I got a lot of calls from loved ones. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. yes, I am not loveless. <laughs> so the thing is, I don't understand why people expect so much on Valentine's Day. Mm. Like every day should be Valentine's Day. Uh, that's a little far-fetched in African <laughs> exactly. culture. Exactly. You see, I don't believe it's just that. One day you can every day, <laughs> if if you have every day as Valentine's Day, then. It's just one February. One fourteenth. <laughs> February twenty eight days for Christ's sake. I so mean, just fourteenth. I mean, Mary, you yes. take this thing personal. Yes, I'm really really pained because I I didn't expect to be in this position. I woke up in such <laughs> high spirits. I was like, you know, it's Valentine's Day. I'm gonna get a gift. And by the way, I'm coming on air on Valentine's Day. I'm just. So you were planning, you know, say, so you see, God saw the heart. <laughs> she was planning to bring the roses here. So she rub it in our faces. Bring the roses, like, oh, yes, I got flowers, you know, even distribute among my ways, ladies. But, you know, still being that Valentine spirit. But I'm still there, Sha. <laughs> I'm still in spirit. Please, so, if you are listening, I beg you, we need our Mary back. Send roses to you. Please. There's still time before 12 midnight. We take God, beg you. You know you're safe. <laughs> But hey, I mean, it's a beautiful day. And honestly, um, this is just a reminder that, you know, love is the most powerful language that you can ever yeah. express or speak. Um, because again, sometimes people really do, they do underestimate what love can do yeah. in the lives of other people. Truly, when we love each other, you know, so many things will be done differently and the world will just be a better place, honestly. Um, so that's why I love the topic that we're having today, you know, because me, anything that we find a way to Nigeria matter, we, we, we link it up. <laughs> but let's quickly go run through what we found in the news. I'll start with you, NJ, and so that we can run into our topic for the day. So um, my topic, my what's in the news is concerning a Nigerian actress called Ulua Darasimi or Moshe. I hope I got that right. So um, an incident occurred, I think, on Monday, where EFCC uh, arrayed her before um, a justice of the Federal High Court on two counts. There were two counts brought against her. And one of the counts read that you, Darasimi Omoshe, on the 28th day of January 2023 at Monarch Event Center, Lekki, within the jurisdiction of this honorable court, whilst dancing during a social occasion, tam <laughs> tampered with the sum of 100,000 Naira issued by the Central Bank of Nigeria by spraying same in the said occasion, and you hereby uh, committed an offense contrary, and contrary to and punishable under Long Section and short. 20. Long and short, she broke the law. Now, um, the reason why I, I, this is my new story is because it's quite surprising. You know, um, I, I would say I feel like the, the, at, at the moment as we speak, she's currently in Kirikiri prison, being re, uh, remanded, remanded there until they're able to set her bail. Now, for something like this, in my opinion, why is she? Why Kirikiri prison? Why is she in Kirikiri prison? Mm, they are trying to set an example now. You can scapegoat. see. You can. Are, you see. My issue with Nigeria is that we go to when we go, we go hard. <laughs> we go. It's go hard or go home. We can Auntie, never find a middle ground. That, yeah. Auntie, they I'm say no break law. How many prisons do we have? First the of all, let's even start from there. That, that Wait now. How many prisons do we have? Right, there's Ikoyi prison. 
<laughs> How many do we have in Lagos? We have a few. How many? We have a That's few. That's the only two that I know. This is a maximum prison. <laughs> so where is Kiriki located? They call it a correctional wait, facility, is Kiriki, but this is a maximum Wait, is Kiriki prison? not the one located in um, the Festac area? Which one is Kiriki? I, I, correct me if I'm wrong. Yes, I think that. That's what I'm uh, saying. It's only two prisons that I'm aware of that we have. One in Ikoya and one in, uh, in Kirikiri. So where would they keep her now? They said, I feel like the only thing that I'm angry about this story is that it was not only her inside that video. That, that was so another that's, place that I was, was coming where I was to. Coming to that was another place I was coming because there are different sides of this story. She was not the only one in the video. Apparently, even the bride and the groom yes, did now, the same They should thing. have arrested everybody. They, so I feel like this was a personal attack on her personality for whatever reason. But I think that it's going too far. Because mm -hmm. this is something that a bill can be and should mm. be set almost immediately, mm. rather than keeping her that no, long. Well, guess what? Now you know your Nigerian people. I know they the need, system. They need a scapegoat. Unfortunately for her, she's the scapegoat. That's why they say do not be caught wanting. Do you understand? That's the truth. The only anger me I have in this issue is that in that party she was not the only one spraying money. So if you want to do anything, be seen to be fair. That's Do you understand? That's the only ground um, grounds I will fault them. Be seen to be fair. And this is what I always say with Nigeria. Don't make your law for a set kind of people. Yeah. Make it's it across like everybody. Guess what? If the law begins to hit everybody equally, yeah. right? The people change will, that we are seeking, will, will it will happen. Jennifer, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> CBN threatens to arrest or jail uh -huh. um, POS agents okay, charging that's above two. 200 naira <laughs> withdrawal. <laughs> so um, the governor of um, Central Bank, um, Godwin Emefili, has put out um, that every POS agent who is charging above 200 naira will be arrested. And he also said that there was no need to actually shift the February 10th, 2023 deadline. Mm. So now that they have made it um, that you can actually go to the counter go to the bank, go to the counter with your old notes to exchange it for the new notes, that he doesn't see any reason why um, why anyone would still increase that amount. Okay. So, so I, I, I don't understand this CBN thing, because from the understanding that I, I have, mm -hmm. maybe somebody can help correct me, is that for people that still have the old notes after this, um, um, is in my after this in news? February 10th, okay, it's so part of your what's in the go, go, mm -hmm. Maybe you should just take yours. So it says, all Nara notes are no longer legal tender, CBN declares. Mm. According to Daily Trust, he said, for the avoidance of doubts, we wish to state categorically that CBN is ready and open to receive all of the old notes based on certain conditions and criteria. Basically, he's also trying to say that Customers are free to come to the bank and deposit, which they cannot do at commercial banks anymore. any longer. So if you so you damn you have to go to CBN, CBN. directly. Yes. And he said that um, the management decided that those customers will have a sigh of relief by coming to the offices in CBN in all 36 states. The customer has to go to the CBN portal mm. and fill a form in the portal. There will be a form concerning the currency redesign and exchange. By the time they've done it. You come with a code that will be accepted it's from just you. It's a very long well. process, long yeah. process. which is good, right? So it's not like they are saying that they are restricting that it's no longer going to. But commercial banks dare not touch that money from anybody. So you can't have your old Nera notes. Go, you can't go to the commercial banks. You now have to go directly to CBN. So you think that you are smart? CBN is telling you that they are smarter. Do you understand? Because they gave you ample time to return all old currencies, but you did not. So now, anybody that has currency that is still the old currency, the banks dare not collect it, even after the Supreme Court's judgment. Because so the banks are saying to um, people, customers, that we do not answer to the Supreme Court. We answer to our own government, which mm. is the CBN. Mm. So anybody that has old Nairano, it's not like they will not collect it. They will collect it, but now you have to go directly to CBN. Yeah. You will mm. make your case and justify why you still had that old Nairano, even when they had time to put in the money. So you carry your money and be going. Okay. So my story is actually quite sad. It's a video. I don't know if they can pull out that video. Um, when we say love for people. Yeah. Is it audio? But eh? Elle est pour du ah 
This one's too much. The go snap him. I'm speechless. So, so this video, right? First of all, when I saw that security man, I knew him very well <laughs> because it's my former estate in Magodo Fesu Jari. So apparently, you know that particular gate, you know, inside Magodo Estate, there are different gates. Yeah. You know, that kind of data, they are very strict in terms of, you know. So the guy, I'm sure he must have been, like, suspecting her. So this one, he said, even the security man said, waiting. Even if you want to steal, See what she this stole. one is too much. Then what so she she's now begging for. and saying that, oh, please, this is where she's working. So this, I mean, at first I thought maybe it was a supermarket. But from the look of things, it is, you know, the way people stock up. You know, again, people have been panicking the apprehension about the forthcoming election. So people have actually been stocking up their pantry. So this lady just took all this item from one human being, for goodness sake. Uh -uh. And we say we love each other. This is wickedness. So I had a maid, right? I knew the maid used to steal because she leaves on Saturday. She goes back home and comes back on Sunday. I knew she used to steal things. So it's not like I did not know. I knew that her stealing was part out of hunger. So she used to take maybe small rice, small seasoning here, you know, like that. I knew, but I just let her be. Do you understand? Because it wasn't really disturbing me. It wasn't changing anything. Do you know when I sacked her? It was when she started stealing, stealing people's human hair eh? and their perfume. Because eh? she stole my mom's perfume. She stole wow. my, my sister-in-law's human hair. And I said, no, this one now, this your stealing is beyond hunger. When you used to steal small, small things, I used to think, okay, maybe because of hunger. But now, your stealing has graduated. And that was how I let her go. So, I mean, even if you want to steal, some of us that employ these people, we know that they pick things, right? But don't pick the one that will kill me. Ah! When I saw this video, I said, ah, hey, it is well. Let's take a break. We're talking more about love. Love, love for us, ourselves and Nigeria. <laughs> Stay with us. We'll be right back. Love for, love.